Yeah, this is part of an experiment to use my camera just to record some of my old photo albums. Here's a native snapping turtle that we caught by the side of the road of Lake Okeechobee. There's a letter with the date on it of 11-21-06 and this is just to document that I uh, had some meetings about starting a waterfront program um, this was just to go over some of the things we did at the meeting so it goes back further than this but this was 11-21-06 then here just beautiful Florida landscape um, yeah, I had pretty good cameras because I was doing real estate photography. There's, uh, you know, picture I took of a mother and this baby, Sandhill Crane. There's a leaf that I photographed. Tomatoes. Michael, Ron, Patty, and Drayton, and, you know, I just don't know where that is. It could be Ron's old home. There's some flowers on the table. A big bird, one of our many big birds. There's Patty and me. So, I, judging from that letter, I would say... Uh, Maybe uh, 2006. It was Joe Messing, Michael, Patty, and I think this is at Ron's house. I'm not sure. <clears throat> There's Ron and Drayton, Michael. There's Joe Messing. So part of this is to document that I have these pictures and, uh, you know, you can go back and inventory it. So uh, here's a letter to the editor, one of many I did. I used to correspond with the local papers often about one subject or another, mostly wildlife. There's Gwenny Robeson. So she and mother and daddy were friends, and Al Robeson. Um, so it's a cute picture of Gwenny. And there's her husband, Al. So, if Judy Ropeson watches this, she can see some cute pictures of her father. He's got an even an R. It takes a lot of effort to have an R on your pocket. It looks like he's got like a Cossack outfit. And here's the Historical Society. When I was president, I took over. Mother was the first president. I took over when they needed a president. I did it for a couple of years, and then I just kind of gave it up. But uh, it's a local paper, The Observer. This is visiting Michael. I think that was like the coldest place in America. I can't remember the name of it, but it was just north of where Michael lived in uh, Idaho, Sun Valley. Maybe it was Stanley, Idaho, but you can check it out. It's really cold. There's Tom, Ellis, Patty. Michael... Ellis and Patty, and I think that's Stanley, Idaho, in the background, coldest place in America. So we were close to it. Michael, Ellis, and Patty. That's more of Stanley. There's Jeff and Patty and Ellis. Michael's house. Michael's house in Idaho, in Sun Valley. 
there's Michael and Alice. Some good dinner. And Jody and Greg and the kids and Christmas tree. So the stuffed animals that Ellis used to carry around. I think it was Weezer and I can't remember the cat's name. There's Patty getting on a jet when she was a jet setter. It was some jet. We saw it. We thought it was something out of the, uh, you know, like the Jetsons or something, you know. Buck Rogers. There we are skiing. I think this is just before I hurt myself on the bunny slope. And the one thing I can tell you is you get no sympathy if you hurt yourself on the bunny slope. It's just a running joke. But I did. I tore my rotator cuff. There's Jody. I don't know if that's Max or Hank or one of them. It's a Christmas card from Jeff and Lisa. We have her, his children. So again, this is like sort of going back in time. George Luzier and Alice, he loved Alice. He like always talked about how cute Alice was. I have no idea what that is, but it's somebody catching a big fish. And there's more. George and Alice, and George said that Alice was pretty and smart. So you can't beat that. And there's George with me. Aunt Irene, she was launching a boat, probably one of Uncle Johnny's boats. There's Mother and Rini and uh, Agnes and Teresa. It's the two grandmothers and Mother. And there's Mother cutting up when she was a um, Academy of the Holy Name student. Look at the scenery in the background. There's mother and daddy before they got married or when they first got married and they were a pretty dashing couple. Remember mother used to tell me, she said, even this will pass. So I always remember that. That's a pretty good quote. That's a ship. I don't know the relation. Could have been one of our ships. You know, Uncle Johnny. It was daddy. I think he's driving... Uh, Roebling speedboat back in Clearwater back probably 1936 or something like that and TC was a beauty for the ages and she was uh, my aunt TC, Teresa and here's part of the historical society what we did and you know right after I quit everybody seemed unhappy and I quit I said hey you know take it you do what you want with it and uh, they folded. So what are you gonna do? This is cute, this is Al. Al's uh, drawing of, uh, you know, his time. He was an artist and he, he drew a picture of a woman bending over and said, a view like this has to be kept for posterity. And then he has a arrow at the window pointing out the window and says view. And here's Alice at Loomis Chafee School. She did pretty well. A-A-A, B-B-B. There it is, more A's and B's, Loomis Chafee. And this was T.C. when she died. She wanted to be buried with her husband, and it's out in East Bradenton, right at the uh, intersection of 301 and... I think 53rd and here's Uncle Johnny's boat it's kind of cute you see the deer horns up on the above the pilot house it's another view of the boat with the sands deer horns but they're always working on it boats are like that so it changed there it is and these are little sailboats that would come out because sometimes even though it was shallow draft it couldn't get into the beach you know probably drew four feet or you know four or five feet and it couldn't get into the beach but it was pretty shallow draft for those days these are my cousins from Barbados and uh, 
now I think uh, the two boys are married and have some grandchildren, and that's the Seals. Gordon Seal, his wife Maria. And there they are. They're fun. They were really nice to us when we visited Barbados. This is something. I don't know what it was. Something. Just documenting some stuff I did. Asa Pillsbury, he was one of my heroes. 90-something, 90 96 years old. Used to walk around barefoot and tell me stories about pirate treasure. I was always interested in that. And uh, Molly Jaleski, she came and lived with us. Wrote a book called Land's End. And uh, she died. And this is uh, something about the speaker series. I was giving a talk at the Historical Society. The little raccoons. They're always entertaining. Ellis, she's mostly entertaining. There's Ellis, the sunset. So we're going to see how this comes out. And uh, these are the uh, Sandhill Cranes. I was doing real estate photography, and oftentimes there'd be just really great shots, you know, just around where I was doing the photography. There's Sarasota Bay. Kind of a pretty frame shot of the city through the mangroves. People sailing kites. More baby birds. And here's just to show you. There's my baby bird right there. It's the young heron. And he's here as long as the big heron isn't. Because the big heron would chase him away. Flowers. Matt Overstreet, one of Michael's favorite friends. Michael. Just some social stuff. And I don't know, probably more Michael. She's probably in here somewhere. I don't know. Maybe not. More birds. More kite flying. Pretty flowers. More pretty flowers. So this was part of when I did the real estate photography. I would find really put pretty scenes and photograph. Some were right outside my front door when I was on my way to work. But I had cameras. Michael supplied me with pretty good cameras. And uh, I was the uh, kind of proponent of point and shoot. That's what this is, point and shoot. Get rid of a lot of human error, I can tell you that. It's a pretty flower. I think that was just on macro. Again, these are from 2006, so that's that. More pictures. Baby bird, sandhill crane, more tomatoes. I used to go by tomato stands, and they had fruit, and it was really pretty. It was kind of the Rasta stand, and it was out Fruitville Road after the interstate, right at the base of the interstate. And there's some flowers, more flowers. from the Rasta stand fruit more fruit it's a cool thing about Florida just lots of good fruit vegetables it was a great article I think it's about George Luzier And this is the old Giants camp. When we were kids and we used to come down from Tampa, there were a few things that would be on our way. And this is the Giants camp. And it was a fun little place. I think it's still there. But anyway, that's pretty much it. That's this album. And there's Drayton Hall right there. That's my ancestor's plantation house in, near Charleston. So we're good. I think this is 
long enough. And of course, another letter that I sent about preserving the nature here. So maybe someday people will appreciate someone who, for many years, has tried to keep the nature as, uh, you know, on the list of things to preserve. Okay, let's try this out, see how it looks.